623 on your Memorial Day. A muggy one, but no rain in our forecast for today, so that should be good if you're out celebrating today. Mm -hmm. Question, what would you do for somebody you haven't seen in nearly two decades? Chances are for most of us that kind of reunion would probably end with maybe just lunch and a conversation. But in today's Giggy Bites, Sean Giggy tells us how one man's miracle really came back to his life as just the right time. The, the greatest years of my life. I After 26 years as a Christian pastor, 64 year old Dan Smith of Carrollton says it's hard to remember every single person he has served over the years. Still serving the Lord and. But he will never forget the woman who made that phone call 29 years ago. And, and I can never be grateful enough to her and the Lord for what they've done to uh, help me. Back in 1990, Dan was director of missions at the Arlington Christian Center. Yeah, here I am. When the church's phone started ringing. And that's me, yeah. Elizabeth Preby says she made that call because she was stressed and scared. Oh yeah. She was oh, a yeah. first time mom yeah. and her baby was sick. All she needed was formula, which is exactly what she told Dan yeah. over the phone. And there he was at the door. And, uh, and he not only brought a uh, formula, but he brought diapers and stuff too. He would give everybody, the, anybody, the world. Absolutely. Elizabeth was so grateful that a few years later, when Dan left to be the pastor at a different church, she and her family followed. However, the church closed its doors in 2004 after Dan was diagnosed with diabetes and his health started to decline. He and Elizabeth have not seen each other in the 15 years since. But about nine months ago, Elizabeth found Dan on a GoFundMe page. It, it was pretty serious. Since she last saw him in 2004, Dan's kidneys had completely shut down. No, I had no idea it was that bad. He was on dialysis, but to have any chance at long-term survival, he needed a kidney. I was like, I have a kidney. I can, I can totally do this. Unbeknownst to Dan, Elizabeth was tested to see if she was a match. And when she found out she was, she gave her pastor his miracle. I can't describe to you how grateful I feel for being able to give the kidney to him. The gift is, is all mine. You know, sometimes <laughs> uh, you don't see the good that you're doing, okay? And until it comes back to uh, give you a testimony about it. When Dan gave a mother formula and diapers, he had no idea he was meeting the woman who would save his life. But with this, Dan Smith learned a lesson, the same lesson he's been preaching all along, that the best way to serve others is to give of yourself. In Carrollton, I'm Sean Giggy. Wow. Kindness and karma always come back to you. It's so true. I feel like we often get caught up in keeping score. Yeah. You know, and you'd think, oh, uh, uh, diapers for a kidney. You know, like that wouldn't be a, be a mm. thing that anyone cons would consider. But what an incredible uh, twist of fate yeah. for the two of them and a bond that's just going to continue. Or also just passing by strangers and yeah. not really thinking like, oh, this person has true meaning in my life. Or the capacity to change yeah. it in an incredible way. Yeah. yeah.